welcome to my channel. My name is Karthik and this will be the first of the many videos on steps to install Apache Hadoop cluster on VMs. Now first I'll be showing you guys how to set up a single node Apache Hadoop system which is fairly straightforward and is sufficient for basic lab purposes. However, later we'll be using the same platform to set up a multi-node deployment as well. Now we will be performing most of our initial lab practicals of Hadoop administration and operations on Apache Hadoop systems rather than on distributions like Cloudera or Hortonworks. The reason being, I believe working on Apache Hadoop systems during the initial stages of your learning curve will provide you with a solid foundation into the internal workings of Hadoop systems, which you can then easily build upon to learn other distributions. Now I will be installing the VMs on my Windows 7 PC using a VirtualBox hypervisor. I also do have a VMware Workstation hypervisor, however, VirtualBox is freely available and is easy to set up, and hence I decided to go with it as I would be able to reach out to a wider audience. Now I would strongly recommend you all to have at least 16 GB RAM if not more if you want to run multiple Hadoop VMs on your host machine. In this video, I'll be showing how to install and set up the prerequisite tools, application and files before we start the actual Hadoop installation. Now these are the activities which we'll be performing in this video. Installation of VirtualBox and then installation of PuTTY and PSCP. As mentioned earlier, we will be using VirtualBox to run our Hadoop VMs. Installing VirtualBox is pretty straightforward. Just search VirtualBox in Google go to the page virtualbox.org click on the big blue download button it is quite difficult to miss that select for host os which in my case is windows and there you go it will download the installer let me fast forward a little the installer is a 118 mb file and the download is complete now the installation process itself is no rocket science it's just like installing any other windows application involves selecting the installation path, a few next, next, then a yes, and that's it. Now that VirtualBox installation is complete, let us install PuTTY and PSCP. Well, for those of you who don't know, PuTTY is a tool for taking a remote SSH or Telnet connection to a host. We'll be using it to log in to our VMs from our host OS. Well, this is because it is easier to work on a PuTTY session on your host machine rather than on VirtualBox or VMware console, which you will see later. Again, PSCP is an extremely lightweight Windows command line tool that can be used to transfer files securely between hosts using SSH protocol. We will be using this to transfer installation and other data files from our host machine to the VMs. Now remember, there are a variety of feature-rich tools like WinSCP, mRemote, etc. that can be used for the same purpose. It is basically up to you what you want to use and what you are comfortable with. Having said that, let us get on with our installation. I will go to putty.org. You can download putty here. This has redirected me to the charakgreenend.org.uk, which is a trusted site to download PuTTY. Here, I will be downloading the 64-bit PuTTY installer for Windows. The installer has been downloaded, so let me go ahead and install it. Now I have successfully installed PuTTY and VirtualBox. PSCP on the other hand is just an exe file that can be directly run from the Windows command line. There is no need to install it. You just need to download the exe file and copy to an executable location on your Windows host. In my case, I have copied the file to C Windows System32. To use it, you can simply invoke the PSCP command from the Windows command prompt. Now before you launch your VMs, make sure that your CPU supports virtualization. 
Now, almost all modern CPUs do support virtualization and hence you don't have to worry about it unless you have a really old system. Also make sure that virtualization has been enabled in your BIOS settings. For Intel CPUs, the option you need to look for is VTX. Now on my HP laptop, I found it in advanced tab and under device configuration. The path might be different for different desktops. That's all for this video. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to install a CentOS 7 machine on VirtualBox. Mm -hmm.